Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Israel says it carried out airstrikes in Gaza overnight after Palestinians launched incendiary balloons from the territory in the first major flare-up since an 11-day conflict last month. The Israeli military said it targeted compounds belonging to Hamas, the militant group that controls Gaza. The incendiary balloons sparked 20 fires in southern Israel on Tuesday. Hamas said they were a response to a march by Israeli nationalists in the occupied East Jerusalem. There were no casualties on either side. Leftist candidate Pedro Castillo has won the most votes in Peru's presidential runoff election. With all ballots now counted, Mr. Castillo has just over 50% of the votes, 44,000 more than right-wing contender Kaiko Fujimori. However, Mr. Castillo cannot be declared the winner until electoral authorities have finished processing a slew of legal challenges brought by Ms. Fujimori. She has claimed electoral fraud but has not provided any detailed evidence. The FBI has warned that followers of the QAnon conspiracy theory could again engage in violence against political opponents out of frustration that the theory's predictions have not come true. FBI experts distributed a memo to Congress earlier this month which said QAnon and conspiracists have expressed frustrations about their predictions not coming true. Some of those theories include Hillary Clinton's arrest and former President Donald Trump's restoration to power. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has announced new restrictions as the country faces a third wave of COVID-19. We must once again tighten restrictions. A nationwide curfew has been moved up to 10 p.m. local time, while alcohol sales have been limited to Mondays to Thursdays with limits to public gatherings. Mr Ramaphosa allayed fears over the slow progress of the country's vaccination programme, saying two million Johnson & Johnson vaccines were expected by the end of this month. He added that South Africa had the capacity to vaccinate at least 150,000 people daily and urged those aged over 60 years to register to get a jab. To deliver. Several people have been taken to hospital to receive treatment for injuries caused by a protester who parachuted into the stadium during France's win over Germany in the Euro 2020 Cup. European football's governing body UEFA said law authorities will take the necessary action for what it called a reckless and dangerous act. Debris fell onto the pitch and stands when the parachutists got tangled in wires carrying an overhead camera. Environmental campaign group Greenpeace took responsibility for the stunt and in a statement apologised to those who were hurt. Dozens of sea lions seeking to escape a pack of killer whales in southern Chile have surprised a fishing boat by trying to board it en masse instead. Váyanse rápido, váyanse. Fisherman Antonio Zapata said that even though hunts by orcas are relatively common where he and his crew operate, he had never before, in his four decades at sea, experienced anything similar. Mobile phone footage shows the water around the boat jammed with thrashing sea lions. Mr Zapata said the crew was genuinely concerned the boat would be damaged or they could end up in the water too. And finally, an Indonesian town is rewarding elderly residents with live chickens for getting vaccinated for COVID-19. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's due to a new door-to-door -door vaccination drive in the West Java province where authorities show up at elderly residents' homes without prior notice, prepared to hand out vaccines and chickens. The town's authorities aim to have 60,000 residents fully vaccinated by the end of July. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos. Thank <music> you.